on, Chloe. Um, you made it to year 12. Um, that's a bit of a shock. The last five years have been pretty hectic, um, but they've also been, they've gone in like a blink of an eye, so make sure you really enjoy them. Um, it gets hard, it gets a lot worse before it gets any better. So even though you're in year seven right now, your skirt's to the floor, trust me, it's gonna grow a bit more and it's gonna be above your knees. Things are gonna be hard and assessments are gonna get harder. Um, ATAR's not any better and trust me, no one can prepare for you for how hard ATAR is. But if I could tell you anything, it would be that you can push through it and you can do it. No matter how many tests you get with a less than a 50 on it, you're gonna be fine anyway. Your friendships are gonna change in drastic ways from the people that you thought were low-key weird now become your best mates. So enjoy that. Um, and be open to everything that gets thrown your way because they're for a reason and everything happens for a reason. Can you believe that this turned into this? Like, not just physically, but also emotionally, mentally. Like, in primary school, I was all over the place. And year seven, year eight, still trying to get a grip of who I was. And yeah, I guess that leads to my message to my past self. It, it takes time to really figure out who you are we're very lucky now that we've got a lot more opportunities to kind of sort ourselves out, talk to people, learn from your mistakes. You're going to make them. No point trying to beat around the bush. You don't have to tell them publicly, just know them yourself, because if you lie to yourself, it kind of defeats the purpose. Don't dwell too much on the lows in life. Uh, don't let the highs get too high. Enjoy them, but it's not going to be, you know, everything. You'll grow in all sorts of, you know, ways, shapes, sizes, horizontally, I know. So, just don't stress. I'm <laughs> very embarrassed to think about my past self. Like I said, without my past self, I probably wouldn't be here today. So, you know, as weird as he was, as painful as he was, I still love him. And as a helpful tip for you, young Liam in year seven, don't panic. It'll be all right. You'll figure out yourself. You'll figure out everything. Just give it time. And take care. And take care. Look forward to gaining new ambitions and dropping old ones that don't really make sense anymore. Making new friends and new friendships and relationships with other people you normally wouldn't really talk to. Just do your best, follow your ambitions, go strong. Your mistake won't cost you the entire world. You won't be defeated now, you won't be defeated in the future. Just keep searching for that small window of hope that will help you go through any challenges you'll find your way. I am honestly a little bit proud of you of how you managed yourself for six years of primary school. Just really proud and happy to have you know been such a small little thing in this world of ours to someone who's actually made an impression and had large ambitions to achieve and to you know do in the future. And one really helpful tip that I would have is um, eat a lot of healthy food, eat breakfast. You didn't even eat breakfast when you were in primary school. Um, study really hard, review basically every night. Um, love your family, they will be your best support ever. Love your friends because they're the family you've gained. And um, just love yourself, first of all. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of your ambitions and your achievements. Hi, Nigel from the past. Uh, this is Nigel from year 12. Uh, yeah, uh, life's, life's good. Life's going good. Um, you managed to get prefect somehow. Don't know how you did it, but you did. Um, you, you've, you've achieved a lot in the last couple of years. But there have been challenges along the road, of course, you know. It's like a roller coaster, it goes up and down all the time. Um, you just gotta understand that, and if you do, life will get better. And yeah, as long as you keep on going and pursuing what you wanna do, um, no matter how many failed tests you have, how many things just seem to not go your way, there is always a way out. Hi, Hari, I hope you're well. This is your future self. Um, I would just like to tell you that you're doing very great uh, where you are right now and I know that there's going to be challenges and obstacles that do come in your way throughout your journey in high school, um, especially with work and friendships and teachers and just school in general and I know that this year is very hard for you but you will get through it and you will make it eventually 
Um, if there was one thing I would tell you, it would be to focus on yourself more and to care less about what others think of you. Just because in year seven, everyone wants to be popular and everyone wants to be cool. And that surpasses a lot of other things that are more important, such as your family and the strong friendships that you have maintained with those around you. Um, I would tell you to really prioritise those over trying to fit in and trying to be cool. Dear Gemma, high school is going to be crazy. Just hang in, hang in there. Um, don't do things just to make other people happy. Do what makes you happy. And try a bit of everything. Chisholm has so much to offer and you should really make use of it. Also, cherish your teachers because you're going you're to have some really great teachers along the way. And ask for help when you need it. Your time to shine is coming soon. It's not going to happen straight away. It doesn't have to happen when other people's times are, but sooner or later, people are going to see you for who you are. Just trust in yourself, love yourself, and have fun.